Now, let's meet three guys who collectively were almost responsible for me losing on the pool table in the BBC Radio Manchester canteen yesterday lunchtime because they were giving a performance upstairs on the second floor and I was playing pool and trying to listen to what was going on at the same time. Collectively, they're slap and giggle. James, Sid and Chris are with me in the studio now. Morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming in. So, let's first of all talk about that performance yesterday because you, you were part of a, a double act that we had on at uh, lunchtime yesterday. Yeah, we had, um, there was ourselves, and there was a group of ladies called Lady Garden Lady as well. Garden. Lady Garden. I think we've been described as brown, um, groundbreaking in that performance yesterday. I, I, I'd by say a few sensational as The security the guard kept on asking me for my autograph. I had to kind of push him away. Yeah, La morning, Lady Garden were all over me. The, Lady yeah, Garden, they, they saw, loved it. They, lo they loved the, the, yeah. uh, the double act, yeah. Yeah, it was a very, very good um, performance, though, and a good experience. Why, why did you want to come in and meet a load of people in the BBC who were having their lunch at the, at the time? Do you find we it had, distracting if... We had no choice. <laughs> we, 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 we were basically kidnapped no choice, and bagged. Yeah. Yeah. We were kidnapped, gagged, and um, plus it's, it's a good experience to try and do that in that environment as well, because if you can succeed in that environment, then um, it shows that you can succeed in any environment. We're thinking of doing it on a plane next. <laughs> just um, while shit. while people are eating the food that yeah shit oil rig on that. oil Offers. rig oil rig would be a good everywhere. one wouldn't it? Yeah. anywhere yeah on public transport general is good yeah we're doing it on a bus on the way back all, yeah. <laughs> all, all on <laughs> <track> out <laughs> by, by choice or just because you're trying to distract the people I don't it's like the old uh, um, thing that was on that's life wasn't it get Britain singing all of a sudden people are going around about their uh, business just minding their own business at the railway station or what have you and all of a sudden somebody jumps out and starts singing is it distracting though don't you think it's hugely distracting if you've got people who are eating and they're only half listening it's horrible if you're having a conversation with somebody and their eyes glaze over is it that sort of effect well, or doesn't challenge. it bother yeah, you it's, it's yeah. a challenge and i think we we collectively rose to it totally and and I said to be fair i'm quite used to people glazing over when i talk to them anyway so true, yeah. it was, it was yeah. you know standard for me I'm, i've seen true. people eating before so i wasn't <laughs> distracted yeah, we, we kind of practiced. We went around cafes in Manchester watching people yeah. eat. And we do gig. our sets in front so of each other while eating. Yeah, while eating. Yeah, and yeah. Sometimes yeah. Chris has eat. a particularly long set and I actually put on four stone. Yeah, just yeah. So it, was, it was for a good cause, though. It was for comedy. It, it, it was, was, it was funny. funny. People were starving to death, so you put it on four stone. Really helped the cause. Yeah, it really did. Ma yeah. Making up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, just describe to me then, because I was half listening while I was losing this game of pool. How would you describe... Comedy is such an all-encompassing thing, isn't it? Um, you, if I might not be so rude, you kind of look like student types, yeah? So, just so, describe well, we're, we're young and educated. and I'm very educated. I'd go as far as to say that we're quite intelligent. Yeah, I've got one Sometimes. GCSE. Yeah, com 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 so, in, so, intelligent yes. comedy then, this... Well, I wouldn't go that far. Observation. We are intelligent, surreal. but our, yeah. our comedy is not that intelligent. Oh, because you don't want to alienate people exactly. who are thick yeah. the or less, are watching The less clever it, yeah. people, they, they, yeah. they wouldn't like it. If yeah, discrimination in comedy is terrible, exactly, isn't it? Yeah. Discrimination. Well, obviously, a gig yeah. at BBC is something you have to keep in mind. The audience, yeah, exactly, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've barely got one GCSE between all of us who work here, I think. So, you know, you're, pro you're probably it's right. Still right it's still a qualification. Well, true, that is true, but it's not necessarily a guarantee that you're going to get a laugh, is it? Dave, exactly. we've got some questions for you. So that you Dave, not case Dave, but you kind of look like a Dave. You do, do you look, look like, like a Dave. I thought I'd call you Dave. Is that it, okay? He does, doesn't he? He does look like you a Dave. You do look, you, like, you a do look more Dave. like a Dave. But we thought we'd give you those questions. Just to help yeah. you out. So um, you could ask us some yeah, questions. Get, get to know us, maybe. Get to know us. Right, okay, yeah. then. Let's, let's, let's do this. I tell you what, you give me a number, and I'll ask you the question. Just go down the list. No, no, I don't want to go down the list, because, you know, I think that starting with number one what's your favorite color blue you know blue, yeah blue. okay so if i was to say you know, what did you do last night you see really your answer should be i sat down and watched comet relief am i, I right i did i i I, I, I went to the cinema to watchmen uh, which was a nice change because usually I'm, I'm in petrol stations watching men i made a cocktail called yeah, Marvel's Marvel's medicine. medicine change i named a cocktail after Roald Dahl. that's what i did last night really, really? it was brilliant dave i'll have to give you the recipe after this because you'll, you'll love it what was it was it the magic finger it was like cider and had some vodka and some arches and i'm not going to give the recipe away because i'm going to make millions dave what? it's going to be brilliant you just called it the roll dial what it's it's called the marvelous medicine oh that's but, that's um, ah, I might have to give him a cut of the money yeah. but i had a guy drink reckon, called fantastic you know, mr fox so oh yeah it was made of chickens was it good good tales of the unexpected yeah. you see that's what happens when you when you drink that um so what are you doing tonight then 
Oh, this oh. is an interesting. We're actually going to uh, happy uh, birthday, Reese. It's Reese, one of one of the people who works on our company. Oh, and Dan, was. Daniel, happy birthday! I've just remembered. It's Dan's. All oh, right. Well, yeah. so be, be, qu be quiet, Chris. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're, we're going to we're going to a party, and it's actually a silver theme party. We've got to go something. So we actually haven't got any ideas. No so ideas whatsoever. If anyone, anyone wants to text in some ideas of what we could go to a, That'd be a silver really great, party, actually, yeah. that'd be very helpful. Be very helpful. And we, we've got robots, so uh, that, that's one idea. Yeah, don't, so don't, don't text say robots. Robot. Don't, don't say, say robot, robot because we kind know of standard, that. though. I think we're going to go into a room full of robots. I don't want to be a robot. Mm. I was thinking of just wrapping myself in tinfoil, but I might. Uh, I was, you know, I was going to go with the Queen's nose. Yeah. That was my idea, but I don't know how I could dress myself we as a nose. We're talking spray new entirely in silver paint, weren't we, Chris? Yeah, like your eyes. a massive 50p. That'd be good. good. Yeah. No. But you're the wrong shape. You're getting there. Don't get me wrong. I am but you're getting not, there. Well, I'm you're nearly large enough well you you've been watching me eat so that's true leave it this is okay. one of the most surreal interviews i've ever done let me ask you the final question on the uh, on the sheet here number 16 we could have been here all day if i'd asked you all of these uh, describe yourself in five words let's go round the table then okay. james um, i like to rock the party that's good thank uh, you that's good um okay um, that's six uh, i think i think that's five I like, I to, like rock to rock five the party. Definitely five. <laughs> I, I'm I'm studying mathematics at university. I'm right. Okay. Sure it's five. Yeah. Sure yeah. Sure okay. Yeah. I'm 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 slim. I'm fast. That's I'm, it. No, no. I'm, that, I'm, that's that's I'm that's numerous. five. Said no. Oh, you can't have any more than that. And uh, Chris, I would say in five. Oh, it's a tough one. I've not really thought about this. You caught me off guard there with that question. Um, that I gave you beforehand. Uh, I'd probably say um, confident, very sexy, sensitive, strong, um, a bit arrogant, strong, yeah. Um, wordy, yeah, strong-willed, word, right? Okay, probably say effective, oh, okay. efficient. You're well, very efficient. Yeah, I'd probably say good-looking. Yeah, good. um, bit of a diamond good geezer. At, good at cooking. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, all good right, at cooking. Right. My cooking we, skills. We, yeah, we get the idea. When when, when can we see you next performing that, a slapping we're, we're, we're on every fortnight at Zoo in Manchester. We're Manchester's uh, premier um, independent comedy night. We have a fresh show every two weeks. Um, and it's at Zoo, uh, it's on a Wednesday. It's Next Zoo, show. which is round the corner, yeah. just right near the BBC building. Near the, the Next the show's BBC on the 18th, uh, 18th of March, like I said, it's every fortnight. Which is, which is this Wednesday coming Manchester's up. finest stand up comedians. That, it's, it, at eight it, will be, it will be fascinating watching it. Yeah. It will be. Your mind will be in turmoil, it will be that good. Yes. Indicative turmoil. Yeah. Indi yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> just quite be okay. right. I'm, 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 Think of well, days, Dave. Can we have yeah, your job, Dave? Dave? You you can uh, have, have it with pleasure. Job? Yeah, absolutely. Can we Good. stay here? James, we stay here? Sid, and Chris, you <laughs> can go away now. Myself. No, I'm turning you off now. James, Sid, and Chris. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming in. Slap and giggle live here on BBC Radio Manchester. It's just coming round to twenty past eleven, and we'll check your traffic in just a moment.